Jesse's thing is going crazy. Blood. <laughs> Blood. We got a few comments below, obviously this is comments below the show. You leave your comments below, I am poet and this is Vooj. Shot senior, you guys should add Team Lee to the intro assistant poet before he scores the banger because he's always assisting you man when you need something. He's the Korean next top Ertzel. I don't know, I think I just want to keep him as like Korea's next top model. Yeah. Daniel Vega, if you use washing powder, your clothes will be clean. No truer words have been spoken. <laughs> <laughs> Who said that? Who said that fam? I don't know. Was that you or Tim Z? That is real truth. <laughs> it's funny. blunt. That is amazing. Big announcement though, is man like Ellie Menge is actually back every Sunday in March. There's going to be a new Derby Days and first one drops this Sunday and it's the Galician Derby. Let's start with the Caribbean Cup, poet. We have a few comments. Tent to United, Arsenal belong in a walking league. And Michael Yuda says, all I'll say about the Caribbean Crush Cup final is, imagine if Man City actually tried. There's a little insert though before we um, go into poet's analysis. Obviously, Arsenal losing 1-0. This game now is 1-0 to Manchester City. Bang, 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 right, quickly. Half time here, man's ready. Nah, no, it's R2, man. Right. I just gotta figure out which one's crossed, so I should... Pass it, pass on the floor, on the floor. Oh. Move! Oh, Move! Move! What, what, what? Yeah! No! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Alright, oh, who's on the tackle? <laughs> maybe, maybe it was me. Maybe. Oh no! Oh, yeah, exactly! Yeah, exactly! What? Exactly. what? Okay. Oh, okay. Oh. Try him again, look. Oh! Right. Right, easy, easy! Wait, easy, 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 easy! No, little flick, little flick! Ha <laughs> ha! I'm in again! One sec! Go on! Go on! I'm off the chair. It's an L. Ooh, it's such an L. Solid now, solid. Oh. Ah! <laughs> what was the sound? We can come back. Come on! Come back. All right, let's just keep the ball. Let's keep the ball for, oh, for, for longer. That's me. Wow! Oh, a little tight. All right, left back, left. Now turn! I'll go, I see you, I see you, I see you. Oh, no! Oh. No! Keeper, keep up! Keep up. <laughs> Man got sausage and batter on the big screen. I don't deserve this. <laughs> watch it, watch it, watch it. Hey, hey. Oh, yes! Tackle! There you go. Easy, watch it. I'm running. Aguero! Aguero! I just got. Oh, okay. Come to the end of the day, I think it's safe to say by my facial expression, you can see it wasn't a fantastic day for my part. How about you, Steve-O, after you beat us 3-0 and look what happened? We beat you 3-0 on the game. Yeah. It reflected in the real game. But for me, I enjoyed it. It's a good day for me. I'm sorry, bro. I've been at Wembley. I've played FIFA. My, my face is on the screen. I'm getting messages from my, my, my aunties and uncles from Jamaica. It's been a good day for me, bro. I'm sorry. Everyone, I hope you enjoyed watching. Thank you so much for having us, though. It was an enjoyable day for a City fan, for an Arsenal fan. See you next time. Big up, bro. Unlucky, man. Yeah, great. Get off me, get off me. So, Poet, um, do you think anything Arsenal could have done? The first goal was awful, defending. S second goal was awful. Awful defending. And the third goal, pretty awful, awful defending. defending. So we could have defended. That would have been nice. I don't know what I can say that hasn't been said on comments below. Arsenal Fan TV, Sky Sports, BT. Like, what more can I add? All I can say is for Arsene Wenger to come out and make the comments he made. <laughs> what did he say? It was like a Chris Rock special on Netflix. We it still have the second leg to go. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, I asked the fourth official, you know, uh, why you cut so early? He said to me, why do you want more time? Like, why is that a conversation when you're 3-0 down? Like, why is that a conversation? Just a good uh, comeback. But it's kind of like me. If I say to Vuj, uh, meet me at 11 o'clock, Vuj is going to turn up at 11.30 because he doesn't trust me. 
them players just don't trust you, Wenger. So it was 11 or 6 today. Wenger, you're just late, cuz. You need to leave, bro. Yeah, like. enough, innit? Like, I don't even know what to say, man. Bellerin does a voice note. Everyone pretends it didn't happen. All of these <laughs> I'm things. Just having a nice. <laughs> it? You've had All enough. I will say is Jack Wilshire. Poets had it enough. Is a, like, whatever you saw in that interview, he's 20 times better than that off camera as well. He's a very real person. And it's nice to have genuine individuals in the world of football and playing for my club. But apart from that, I can't think of anything positive to say. Yeah, check out the FIFA and chill, obviously, with a man like Jack. Um, one thing I should shout out, there was one positive. Steve-O was absolutely electrifying yesterday. That guy was so funny. He came in to fill in for Vuj. Um, and yeah, I had actually a good time with Steve-O. He's funny. He's a very, very decent geezer. Well, look, anyway, leave your comments below about Arsenal, Man City. Um, what the hell's going on at Arsenal? How disappointed yeah, are you? Are you not? Um, as we move on. Manchester United against Chelsea. That was actually an exciting game. Luca Apple United 2, Chelsea 1. Lukaku actually scored against a big team. That's like Benzema being consistent with his good form. Aiden 2 4. Manchester United 2, Chelsea 1. Roman Lukaku still in the hate because he doesn't show up in big games of a goal and an assist. United fought back to it a very well needed three points. And Liverpool creeping behind. United look. After going down anyway. Mm. Kind of all over them, pretty much. The Gea I, didn't actually have the best game as well, which to, this is this is surprising for once. Oh, the amount of steals, he's but done. he's just amazing anyway. The and the sun is, was in his eyes to be fair. Second was, half. Yeah. He should have got a cap like Joe Hart in the FA Cup final. He just went up to a random guy and just took a cap. He should have done the same thing. But Lukaku was hard, serious, strong, pacey. The goal was nice. There was one overhead kick he done. Oh, I saw that. But the same from Sanchez is um. The cross, yeah, yeah, is a banging attempt. But anyway, banging save as well from the, from the keeper. Um, yeah, Chelsea, at the end, they were kind of unlucky. With VAR, they could have been given a goal. Chelsea? Yeah. Is it? What happened? The ref blew the whistle. He carried on and scored. Who did? Uh, Morata. Bottom <laughs> corner. It was offside. But it wasn't offside. It was like a minimal, minimal. Is so it? They're saying like, oh, no, VAR would have been good. However, for me, I just think, yeah, Manu, Manu did deserve that. They edged it. See, Lingard, he's doing bits. Lingard makes it really difficult to not like him. Everybody's saying that. Like you have Lingard to like might Lingard. be might have become the most likable player in the Prem. Hundred percent. If you don't like Lingard, I don't like you. He has, he always plays with a smile. He's always in a good mood. A bit like Pogba, not as recent. But yeah, I just I really like that guy's energy, man. I really really like his energy. I'm mm. glad. It's nice to see young footballers enjoying themselves, sharing you know viral moments like the the Millie Rock, like the Wakanda thing. But he's playing well. It's not like he's just doing that and he's not performing. Donny's doing his thing, fam. And his girl is really out here every minute tweeting, I'm your number one fan. See, so. Tropicana. <laughs> what? Bits. <laughs> <laughs> this is what I love you. I could be in a bad mood. And if I meet you, I'm good, fam. I should leave your comments also about Lingard. Mourinho, is he doing, is he getting there a little bit more? Is he, is he ticking it over? Or are you still not impressed with United and, and their performances? Um, yeah, leave a comments below. Let us know what you think. As we now talk about Rouge's team, who... Uh, Liverpool. I think if you win the Champions League, it wouldn't bloody surprise me. Man. That's fam. You know what the beautiful thing is if we win the Champions League? Well, You've got the video of me saying we're going to win the Champions League first day of the season. And I was looking at you like, are you crazy? That would be so nice. But look, we've got Marnie, a few comments here. Firmino and Sa oh. Fam. Jack Tucker. Do you think Carrius has started to prove himself recently? He's been putting in some good performances lately. But I think he just lacks confidence to be consistent. White Eagle 4 5 6. Liverpool 4 West Ham 1. Liverpool looking good going forward and slow defensively, if not for an Emily Chan mistake. And have three points. Even Carrius pulled off a decent save or two, continuing a decent string of form. Good chance to finish second. Chan, nice header. Salah once again. Great finish. Firmino, no look. Goal. Oh, yeah. Mane as well, do, doing his thing. Mane is so erratic. Like, he'll have a few he chances. Bare chances. He misses you know. bare chances, but then he'll just bang one. So, Mane is a strange one, but nonetheless, us going forward is, is, is fucking beautiful. And Karius, yes. That save against another, which is low. Great that was a saves. good save. Did he save it or did he just hit the wall? No, 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 he, he tipped it, it in. He tipped it. it. It's a good save. Oh, Karius, nice. 31 goals for Mohamed Salah. Oh. I just want Mohamed Salah, top scorer in the Prem. That's all I want. I just want, in this day and age, to have Mohamed Salah, That's top number scorer. one. Yeah, you know what? It would be nice to finish second, like best of the rest. I don't really care though. Um, I, want, I want to finish in the top four, and I want to win the Champions League. I think what Jurgen Klopp has managed to achieve, had he, you know, if he gets second, is incredible, man. That Liverpool side is not good enough to finish second. You've got like Emre Chan and Chamberlain and Henderson and Milner centre midfield. Your defence looks like something out of a university in central London. Yeah. I just think you lot are fucking quality, bro. Well, do you know how nice it is to have had Downing? 
and those days of Carol downing Adam. Out, and now you've and got... And now you've got... Actually, this is what I mean. I don't care if we lose now. Mm. If you lose, you know what? It was exciting. It was football played, like, erratic. But whatever, it was fun to watch before. All that, oh, awful, awful. But look, I'm very happy with Liverpool. Of course. Um, we get Milinkovic-Savic in from Lazio. Touch wood. And maybe one more defender. I don't know how to, I'd take that. I think we could do bits. You've only lost three games, you know? Ma'am, next season, if we go for the league, it needs to happen in my lifetime. Fingers crossed. Let's keep it moving. Um, Liverpool, though. How impressed are you, Liverpool fans? Um, how good are we going forward? Mo Salah, will he or can he be the top scorer at Liverpool? Will he be the first Mohammed to do this thing? I want to see that. No Mohammed's done it before? I don't think so, you know. Siri, can you name me a Mohammed that has won the Premier League? Your mum. How about we just go look? Any <laughs> Egyptian that's won the Prem, but also has a Mohammed ever been top scorer in the Prem? There's one man that wants to prevent Mohammed Salah from doing his thing. Mm. And like Harry Kane. The great white hope. If I'm being honest with you, I think they're going to win the FA Cup. You reckon? Harry Kane's world class. Mm. And right now, he's the best striker in the world. 24 Premier League goals in 27 games. Harry Kane is the best Even striker the, you know what? in the, in the he world. He had some shocking misses that game, but Again. he still made sure he scored. Mm. Harry Kane is nothing short of one of the greatest strikers Spurs mm. will ever see. Mm. What he's doing, he's breaking records and he plays for Spurs, a team who have never won the Premier League before. Last time he won a trophy was like 2007. Because he's carrying them to some... He's going to carry them to silverware. Mm. Spurs are looking very, very good. One thing that's kind of interesting, uh, Gary Lineker tweeting Divey Ali. Arsene Wenger made a comment three weeks ago about English players diving. Ali's been guilty of diving the past few weeks. Is that a problem for this young English talent in Delhi Ali? I honestly see it as part of the game. Serious? It's a bit, it's a bit of cheating, but like, it's part of the game. It always has been. Should you get a yellow card if you dive? Should it just... Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, if you get caught, yellow card. How about exaggerating? Like, people have always cheated on their misses. And it, like, mm, but, like oh my God. and when they get Caught, it's a thing, isn't it? Like, you've been caught. Your yellow card. Gives you a yellow yeah. card. Yeah. And if one more, he might, she might have a word, but eventually, if she had enough, she's got to send you off. Or you're Jesse Lingard, and it's calm. How do you deal with it is something I think you guys might want to tell us. Um, hashtag diving. Is it retrospective? Do you bring them back up on that retrospectively and you really try and clamp it out? Do you let it happen and you're only if you get caught? Is it a VAR thing? Like, you should bring in Michael Phelps and then he then judges you on your dive out of 10. And if you get below five, it's a red card. Above five, yellow. <laughs> That's fucking <laughs> stupid, but I love it. Leave a comment below. Who the top of them? Salah, okay. All right. Hashtag Mohammed or hashtag uh, Harry. And boom! We go La Liga, where um, uh, Bars are fucking dominating, aren't they? Look who scored. <laughs> fam. Both two dons that used to play for Liverpool. I hate Barcelona, fam. Southampton are our bitch. Mm. And we are Barcelona's bitch. Arsenal used to be Barcelona's bitch for a while. But well, now we are, fam. Cesc, Kleb, Song, Henri, Overmars, Petit. We were the real bitch, cuz. Well, fam. Now and now it's just transfer. Suarez, to Coutinho. Oh, look. Madrid, though. Mo Salah. Getting a bit of form. <laughs> leave, leave me alone, fam. Atletico, Griezmann getting a hat-trick, 5-2 uh, over Sevilla. Oh, that was a great game. And Barcelona 6-1, and Coutinho's goal was... Was it mad? It was nice, fam. It was a nice... Did he go mad? He went mad. He's doing fun. He's enjoying He's life. His family are just like, yeah. I mean, we have a question here. Atletico are only seven points behind Barcelona. Can they win it? No. <laughs> just no. to conclude. No, I mean, Barcelona are still unbeaten. Uh, yeah. They might even go the league unbeaten. So, um, that, I think that's more the question is... Can Barca go the league unbeaten? Uh, That's a good question. To I be don't fair. think that they're going to do it. Leave a comment below, obviously. Barcelona, Coutinho. Um, Barcelona are so see. good. That, like, Chelsea made one mistake and that was it. And that, that was it, innit? <laughs> one Chelsea, mistake. one mistake and that was it. A PSG Marseille. We move on to France. 3 0. PSG, just obviously, this is the. I think there's a name for this, like Le Classique. But like big the big talking point in this game. Neymar injured. Is Neymar is injured, bro. What, for the, for the Champions League game? I don't know. I saw him turn his ankle. My Dom was crying, fam. If he's out against Real Madrid, they can just forget about it. Yeah, if he's, if he's out against Real Madrid, they they're not going through. It. But leave a comment, let us know. And if you hear any reports wow. about Neymar, please let us know how long he's potentially going to be out for. Sorry. There was a comment here, actually. AFC said um, Messi now has um, 
most assists in La Liga. Are you serious? It's just long. It's just long. Sorry, I just had to throw it back, but that's just all long. Um, shout out to PSG. PSG Real, leave your comments about that. But let's point to the camera and say, what a guy. What a guy to company for showing pure passion towards City yesterday. What a guy to what a guy to amazing United United Security because from sitting in the box and amazing house event for the game as chairman on Saturday. But halfway through the second half, the hero listened to our chance of come and join us and stands with us behind the goal for the rest of the game, singing of the fans. So I'm related to football, but what a guy to Estella Dishkov, she's probably for being the first female to win Olympic gold in two different sports at the same Olympics, Stobert and Skeen. What a guy to the Wigan sound guy who played Wonder War after the final that whistle was against sick. City. What a guy to Kwasi Frimpo in the first Ghanaian to run a skeleton in the Winter Olympics. Done. What a guy to Will Greg for scoring more goals against the top six in the Ram Lukaku. What a guy to Timsy Free and what a guy's at a speed that we can actually understand. Uh, Will Greg is on fire. I want to wig in the water guy. Well, Greg, go fire. Your defense is in fire. Your melody is awful. So most of the time, you do it. It's Will Griggs on fire. Your defense is terrified. Will Griggs on fire. Your defense is terrified. Will Griggs on fire. La 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 When that came on, it was mad. Last week, Monday, when Will Griggs scored, and he didn't even celebrate. He didn't. But even the finish was like a primary school finish. Like it was scrappy. It proper bubbled in, innit? But it bubbled. Just everything about him is like he's efficient, but he's not amazing. He's quick. Will Griggs just, I want a poster up here. Can someone I think we need someone to get tell a us where to get a poster of Will Griggs? I want it up here in the middle. Yeah, so I want one as well. I, want, I want a Will Griggs poster. But look, let's point to the camera and say, What, what a guy! guy. Hashtag what a guys. Leave your comments below. This is the El Clasico special of two twos um, this week on social. This week on social, wow. Poet taking an L. People enjoying themselves, playing FIFA. Obviously, Hack from Filthy Fillers was there. Mitch at the back as well. You're killing him. You're Steve killing well. You're such an idiot. And then Poet just had enough. Because you know what? This guy beside me, yeah, he's really excited. God forgive if you're watching. Look, I don't mean to get onto you. He's like, yeah, I'm a professional FIFA player. Every minute, like, just give it to me. Just give it to me. My man's doing this Zidane spin from 98 every single time, losing the ball, missing one-on-ones. I'm just like... <laughs> Is this Don serious, You had fam? enough. That was your teammate. I was just like, oh, <laughs> You can God. see how gassed he is. Yeah, look at me. These look like they've scored. But well, we have a... Look, let's see what our specs got up to. Wow. A man left his own house with the guests inside. He doesn't care. There's no rules. They're just killing the internet right now. Absolutely killing the internet. Uh, Tammy Abraham caught an L. The Premier League match centre has adjusted that Smalley's goal is a Lewis Dunk own goal. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> and Batshuayi actually coming with the win, who went for it. 2080 and still racist monkey noises in the stands. Really? Hope you have fun watching the rest of Europa League on TV while we are through. Hashtag say no to racism. Hashtag go watch Black Panther. Wakanda. Look, boom. We are done for this week. Um, boom. Done See you that. again next week. Make sure to like. Obviously, it's comments below. Leave your comments. Share and subscribe. And we will see you next week. You might not see me, cuz. If Arsenal lose on Thursday, I'm done, fam. <laughs>